What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Hisuian Samurai in Regulation Age. Now, this Hisuian Samurai is here for big time damage. It's got sharpness as its ability, and it's rocking the choice ban as its item. Now, Hisuian Samurai, I believe to be better than regular Samurai, and for good reason. It hits harder, has better ability, and its stats are a little bit better. It's got water typing with dark, it's got the poison terror type, and it's rocking aqua Ketter, ceaseless edge, sacred sword, and flip turn. All these moves get boosted by sharpness, except for flip turn, and flip turn is just for repositioning. So, gonna love this Samurai, I'm ready to do some big time damage. But speaking of big time damage, we got Annihilate and Dragonite also on this team. Dragonite with inner focus and that assault vest, rocking extreme speed, terror blast, low kick, and sonic tantrum. And Annihilate over here with choice scarf and defiant with final gambit, coaching, close combat, and phantom force. So I can use it for big time damage. I can final gambit away. I can boost the Pokemon stats. We got a lot of different options we can do with Annihilate. Our final three Pokemon on today's team are going to be Corviknight. Fire Tauros and Electabuzz. Electabuzz, we've actually been seeing a good bit on the competitive ladder, or I say the casual ladder for Regulation H, just because it's such a good support Pokemon, but Fire Tauros haven't seen it in a good bit, so it's gonna be fun to use this Pokemon. Whoever Knight's there for Tailwinds, it can bulk up, it can use Brave Bird on top of that, it can use Body Press, really good move pairing up with Bulk Up. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Hisuian Samurai. For some reason, we always have to take the toughest route to victory. We are going up against a Miraidon and Lunala team with Chen Pao, with Gyarados, Dragapult, and Miascarada. This one is going to be super tough, considering we don't have terrain control. We have no way of taking out terrain, so Miraidon could really just get after me, which I'm not liking at all. But I could lead Samurai, maybe, and see how that can do. I can always flip turn out. I can go for Ceaseless Edge. Aqua Cutter's not bad. We got a lot of different there but i'm kind of scared of like intimidate on gyarados that could be a little tough for us i could just go like annihilate and like final gambit away and yeah that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into annihilate alongside with corviknight and see if i can just like final gambit and then like bulk up i think that could be in our best interest and then we'll go into suing samurai for late game and last but not least either tauros or dragonite and looking at the team tauros isn't bad due to intimidates but Dragonite's gonna be a little bit better here, I think. What you got? You got East Speed, you got Terra Blast, you got Low Kick, you got Stomping Tantrum. Hmm. Yeah, you know, we're gonna go Dragonite. Especially with that AV, the Assault Vest. I'm all for it. I am all for it. If we, And if we don't have our, uh, or if we still have our Terra, Terra Blast can uh, just go flying. So, that's also another good move that we can have. But I kind of wish we had Ice Spinner on Dragonite. Would be real clutch, because, like I said, the terrain... We don't like that. But I'm hoping I can just final gambit this Pokemon down. Let's see what they end up doing here. What are you going into? It's going to be Lunala and Dragapult. I mean, I can't final gambit any of them. I simply cannot final gambit any of them. Which is really bad for me. Um, Do I coach up? Good Phantom Force out of here. I mean, I'm choiced. I am going to do that. And I might as well go for bulk up. Let's do it. Let's Phantom Force out of here. Hopefully someone's attacking Annihilate. Somebody has got to be attacking Annihilate. Somebody has got to be attacking Annihilate. Let's see. He's going to vanish instantly too. Okay. Psychic like going to fly here and we dodge that. It's good news for us. So we got off a free bulk up, which is really good. Boost my attack stat. And I'm going second, which is really tough for my Annihilate really tough so we get to see double phantom force do i bulk up again or do i attack let's set up a tailwind here not a bad turn to set up a tailwind just for the rest of the squad because we know annihilate's dead here we know annihilate's dead that's that's my one problem we know annihilate's dead so i'm gonna set up a tailwind we know annihilate's dead so annihilate gonna miss his attack phantom force gonna launch just gonna hit it and he's probably doubling down are you gonna go for a psychic here you're gonna go for a Shadow Ball this time. The Shadow Ball comes out here. Um, it's not bad. I'm able to Tailwind up. So now that we got Tailwind cooking, um, Dragon Pulse is still gonna outspeed us. I mean, I gotta go for Phantom Force into like Lunala. I mean, I'm choice into it. And he's gonna Phantom Force away. We're gonna shoot double down to Lunala here. 
We are just gonna double down the mile. So I'm I'm getting out of here again with Phantom Force. He's probably going for another Phantom Force. Oh, we are actually outspeeding, so we could have went after that Dragapult. It'd have been good for us to do, but now he's gonna launch a Draco Mirror. That's scary because we probably die to that. No, we soak it actually really well. I thought we were taking a lot more damage than that. Now comes the Psychic, and we soak it. So we're doubling down into Lunala here. Actually, we don't have to double down to Lunala. I could Brave Bird this Dragapult. He's definitely l way less bulky than Lunala. So I like that. Yeah, we're going to go for Brave Bird. We're sitting plus one on physical attacks. So that's good news. Brave Bird. Two Ghost-type Pokemon out here. Really just raining on, on our parade. But Phantom Force is going to pick up the KO, Annihilate being an absolute dog. It's a big-time KO for us. Good work, Annihilate. And Brave Bird, can you do some big chunk of damage? You pick up the KO. Let's go. Let's go. It's a hot start for us. That's a real hot start for us. Now I got my Quivernite low HP. We got a, like two turns left in Tailwind. And then I got my big dogs in the back end. Let's see who they go into here. Please don't be me ride on. Please don't be me ride on. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. No me ride on. Chen Pao, I don't mind that. Miri's got to be me ride on, right? Oh, man. I hate this Pokemon. All right. So I think we have to attack that. Let's see how many turns left in Tailwind. I'm hoping we have two. I am hoping we have two here. We have one. Oh, dude. That really sucks. That really sucks. We have to go for Phantom Force in this slot. And if I can, I'd rather body press this slot. I really would. I'm not worried about this Chen Pao that much. I'm really just worried about this, uh, this me ride on. Right on looking real scary. So last turn in Tailwind. Body Press is going to launch. Do a decent chunk of damage. I like that. Icicle Crash going to finish us off. And from here, it's got to be our... Uh, it's got to be our Choice Band Pokemon come out here. Samurott, right? Really wish we had one more turn left in Tailwind. I could go into you, but I think saving you is going to be nice. And just using like a Terrastalization here. That's what we want to do. So I'm going to go into Samurott, shiny Hisuian Samurott, who looks dope. That, like, titanium white is so sick. I'm going to Terrasize here, and what does more damage? Aqua Cutter's going to do more damage. And we're just going to go for a nice, lovely, mm, ceaseless edge. I forgot about typing. We got to double down this thing. We have to double down this thing. So out comes Terra. Electro Drift still my KO, which is really bad for us. It's really terrible for us. Let's see. If Electro Drift KOs is here, we, we lose this all day. Phantom Force coming out here. How much damage are we doing? We're not picking up the KO. He's going for Sacred Sword into this slot. There's no way you're doubling down here. You are doubling down this slot. Oh, no. Can you soak this? Samurai, do it. Do it. You double down in this slot. Okay, well, we still have... We still have Annihilate. We still have Annihilate. We're not Annihilate. We, yeah, we still have Annihilate, but we have Dragonite now. How can we win this? Because I can E-Speed take out the Me Ride on no problem. Or I can go into Phantom Force into the slot. And then E-Speed you down. Because if you hit me with Ice people, I'm dead. So yeah, I'm going to go for E-Speed here. I'm going to Phantom Force away. That just doesn't help us though, because then a turn after you are out, or we're faster than you, so we're gonna attack and then you're gonna attack. I still feel as we have to do this. I still feel as we have to do this. We're gonna see a Terra type pop out here. So a Terra type pops out here. Maybe we should run for Phantom Force from the other slot. He's gonna go into. Is this gonna be Ghost? It's gonna be Ice typing. Yeah, we're gonna say bye bye to our Dragonite. And match number one's gonna go to our opponent. It's rough news here. Rough news out here. East Speed's still gonna fly. Do half damage. Phantom Force, we're disappearing here. Maybe we can like dodge an Ice Crash. Hopefully you're rocking that move. And no, you landed no problem. Bye bye Dragonite. So Dragonite's gonna die out here. And yeah. This is where we lose the match. Unless he misses a shot, that's the only way we win. That's the only way we win. 
It's the only way we win. I kind of wish we had Protect here. Protect would have been uh, an easy win, too. We just didn't have it. We just didn't have it. Tough loss here in match number one. But again, we still have a chance. I mean, Phantom Force is going to come through. It's going to KO me right on. And now we just need to dodge and move. Now we just need to dodge an Ice Super Crash here. Go ahead, dodge it. Dodge it. They went for Ruination. Oh my god, I love the casual ladder. GG's, thanks for playing. I think we grabbed the win. I love the casual ladder. <laughs> so, match we definitely should have lost. I mean, we're gonna win. As long as Phantom Force KOs, which it should, but... Ruination? That, that can't... I don't even think that move can KO anything. Unless you're on 1 HP, right? That's what you should have used. You should have used Crunch. Should have used Crunch. Maybe it was a misclick. It might have been a misclick. It might have been a misclick, so... Honestly, we should have lost this match, but... If we win, we win. I mean... Sometimes Pokemon's all about luck, and... We got lucky here? Definitely got lucky. I think it was a misclick. So our opponent was playing pretty good this whole match. Let's see. Phantom Force flying for the win. Yep, we're gonna chalk that one up as a W. A little bit of misclick action. I'll take it all day. So guys, I thought the last match was hard. This one is going to be 10 times harder. We're going up against a top tier Regulation G team with Amoongus, with Urshifu, with Raging Bolt. They also have Rollaboom, Tornadus, and Kyogre. If they lead Tornadus, Kyogre, it's gonna be a tough game for us. It's definitely gonna be a tough game for us. Um, I could go into Annihilate and just try to final Gambit, kind of like how we did last time. But if they lead a Tailwind user, we're just gonna get outworked here. We're just gonna get outworked. Let me see you, Electabuzz. Y'all follow me, you at Taunt. Protect e -web. Damn, we're just gonna get outclassed. We are just gonna get outclassed. How should I do this? I might have to set up a tailwind with you. Just might have to set up a tailwind with you. Could go Dragonite with like E speed. I wanna be bad with Corvo. Bring Samrot in the back end with Annihilate late game. Yeah, I think that's our best option. Because, I mean, if they do end up going into uh, Kyogre and Tornadus, if they want to set up a Tailwind, then we can just E-Speed the Kyogre and kind of neutralize some of that Water Spout damage and play off of that. That would be, that would definitely be our best bet because that's the scariest lead that they have. Kyogre, Tornadus could just potentially wipe us out, right? So, let's see. Hopefully, they don't do it. They got Urshfu Roll. All right, I'm cool with that. So, they got Fake Out, Ready to Roll. We go Dragon, Dragonite, Corviknight. Not bad. I got Inner Focus. I mean... I could go for a bulk up here. Which I think I should, I mean. I could also go into Flying Terra and just pick apart whoever I want here. I think I'd rather get rid of Urshifu, right? Yeah, let's get rid of Urshifu. So I'm gonna get rid of Urshifu. Um, if I can, I'd rather get off this Tailwind than go for Brave Bird. But I think they fake out Corviknight regardless. If I had Protect, I would definitely Protect here. But let's see. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays, because I doubt he goes for Surging Strikes or Grassy Glide into my Dragonite, right? Or even close combat. He might swap the Urshu. Maybe we should have went after the Rollaboom slot. But nah, I think they I think they fake out and maybe double down to Corviknight at this point. Surging Strikes with Fake Out. And I really wish we had, what's it called at this point? I really wish we had uh, Rocky Helmet, but he's going to Thrasalize into Water, which... Really puts a damper on our parade, right? We want to hit somebody hard with this flying move. And we're still going to do good damage, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I still like the Flying Terra. I still like it. I mean, we can go after Rollaboom next time. We're really mostly hoping that they don't fake out Corviknight. And we get off the Tailwind. That would be good for us. But I think they're going to fake out Corvo. Yeah. Oh no, they fake out Inner Focus Dragonite. Let's go. That's huge. And he's going to Surgeon Strikes into... Corviknight, who should soak? Who should soak? You better soak. You better soak. You're not soaking. Oh my lord, I hate this game. Really doing that much damage to my Corvo? I have 200 HP. I'm getting absolutely mauled. Absolutely mauled. So, so we get off the Terror Blast. I mean, we get Terror Blast a little bit next turn. I could E-Speed Urshifu if I want to, but I don't know if that's going to KO. Oh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. 
That is cutting real close. I might choice in the Phantom Force again. I'm pretty sure Phantom Force will KO Urshfu. I'm gonna do this. And I can outspeed and just close combat it. Let's be honest here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can outspeed and just close combat it, finish it off instead of going into Phantom Force. And then maybe just swap Annihilate, but turn later. So I'm hoping for the double KO here. So close combat flies. He does not know we had Choice Scarf. And we get rid of the Urshifu. Bye bye, Urshifu. Dragonite, you outspeed, don't you? I think you should. So this double KO could be massive. This double KO could be big time for us. No, you outspeed me. How dare you? At least you're only doing like negative five damage. But we'll get back a lot of this HP with my uh with terrain. And let's see what they go into, because they only have two other Pokemon in late game. I'm gonna go into Kyogre. I don't mind that, because I get off some nice damage onto this thing. I will outspeed with close combat. And I might be able to KO it unless they go into Tornado next turn. Let's see what you got. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, we get a crit. So I can e-speed you all day long. We get the crit. That is huge. That is huge, Dragonite. That is that is why I brought you. And Amoongus is their final Pokemon. So Rage Powder could come in hot. Yeah, we don't like that. We don't like that. So let's go into Samurai here. And get our defensive stats back. I think so. I think so, because I don't think you're doing any crazy damage here. Right, Kyogre? At least to my Samurott, right? I'm going to swap my Annihilate. I'm going to reset our defensive stats, reset our Choice Scarf. And we're going to send this... Uh, We should have actually targeted down the Kyogre just in case Rage Powder doesn't come out here. But it is going to come out here anyway, so... We're going to be able to drop this move over here. Are you going for Origin Pulse? You're going for Thunder. Soak it? You soak it. Awesome. Cool. Terra Blast can now launch... We got Hisuian Samurai on the field. We don't have Terra, which really sucks. So we can Grass Guide into my Samurai. But you can't fake me out, which is good news. And I'm hoping E-Speed can just KO, right? Really hoping E-Speed can just KO Kyogre. I mean, if not, again, we have the Choice Scarf on the... Uh, on the what's it called? On our Annihilate, so that's really good for us. So from here, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go for a Ceaseless Edge. I am going to double down to Kyogre just in case. Just in case we don't KO with the East Speed. But he's probably faking out our Samurai. He protected anyway. Oh, no. This is really changing changing things up here. This is really changing things up here. So my Hisuian Samurai getting off no turns in two battles. Really not good for us. Because I think you're going for, obviously, like a Wood Hammer here. You're just going to wood hammer me down? Yep. Bye-bye, Samurai. So, Samurai, just can't eat alive out here. The thing is, it's not a bad Pokemon. We're just putting it in bad situations. So, it takes some recoil damage. I mean, we got to bring out our... What's it called here? A close combat to KO, right? We got to bring out a close combat to KO. Now, do we E-Speed Roboom? Because this Roboom did outspeed us the last turn. So I am going to E-Speed, just get off as much damage as I possibly can. And I am going to go into close combat to finish off Kyogre. The Chewy Scarf is just working wonders for us. It really is. It's just working wonders. So we're going to E-Speed up. I think somebody's going to take out the Dragonite here. Or at least try to. But the whole problem is Roboom's having a tough time doing it. But it sucks, man. I really want to use Hisuian Samurott. I really do, and both times I brought it out, it just got ripped. It just got absolutely dumped on. So third and final battle, I am guaranteeing you guys a nice little Hisuian Samurai show. But we outspeed with close combat, we pick up the KO onto Kai Ogre, it turns into a 2v1 situation. And... Let's see what you're gonna do here. I'm gonna go for what happened? Can we soak this, please? We might have lost. We definitely lost this game. I mean, you take some mean recoil. Can we actually KO you with E-Speed now? You have a berry? We have to go for, uh... E-Speed won't KO. E-Speed won't KO. You have a berry? Oh, man. And I don't get HP back. Oh, terrain did end, which is good. 
We have to go for Terror Blast. Can we soak up Woodhammer? Soak it up. No terrain. We don't soak it up. That really hurts, man. Oh, man. I thought we would win that game. No problem. Woodhammer from the Roboom doing us dirty. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting 1-1. One one. Let's go use Hisui and Samurai a lot more in match number 3. I know. I know. We should have used Terror Blast into that Roboom slot on Dragonite's last turn. We would have won the match if we did that. But my whole th thought process was kind of messed up. I thought that they would double down Dragonite, making sure that they get rid of it. So I went for E-Speed just to get off damage before it went. But they ended up going for Woodhammer into Annihilate. And it just didn't end up working in our favor. But we're hopping into our third and final match. And look, no legendary Pokemon. A regulation each team. Which means my boy Samrot should be able to thrive out here. They got Frostmoth. They got Alolan Ninetales. They also have Volcarona, Garchomp, Archiludon, and Overquill. Now, I am going to go into Hisui and Samrat turn 1. I think that's pretty good for us. I could go into, like, a Nihilate, which is like final gambit out here. Or I could coach up if I want to. I feel like we have a few different options on our hands. But I do like a Nihilate for the lead. So I, ooh, or I could go Tailwind. Or I could go Bulk Up. What do I even want to do here? I have Intimidate. I'm going to go Nihilate here. So we'll go Nihilate. We will go Samrat. Um, Late game. Boros isn't bad here. Major Bull Close Combat. Yeah, you know, we'll go, we'll go Tauros. And last but not least, Dragonite has just been killer for us. We're going Dragonite. Just been killer. We just have to watch out for, obviously, these Ice-type Pokemon. Frostmoth and Alolan Ninetales. They can do four times super effective damage to us. But my boy, Hisuian Samurai, is ready to play now. He got his warm-up matches in. He got two turns where it just got one tapped. And now it's ready to roll. Actually, they double down with him in match number one. But let's see. They go Archer Ludon alongside with... Garchomp. Now I'm thinking of just, I'm thinking of just final Gambo and the what's it called? I'm thinking of just final gambiting the Archer Ludon. It's just too bulky and I really don't want to deal with it. So yeah, we're gonna final gambit him. Just get rid of him and then we'll go for Aqua Cutter with with our Samrot. So we end up protecting. Oh, hoo, hoo, protect EQ coming out here. Aqua Cutter, outspeed and just one hit KO. Get a crit. I know you have a higher chance of landing a crit, but I don't even think you outspeed Garchomp. Dragon Cheer. You can Dragon Cheer up. I made a final game with that thing down, so this is actually a fine turn for us. Actually, not a bad turn for us. So, Aqua Cutter launching, and that's what I wanted. Asking you shall receive. I told you my boy hits like a truck. Choice Band on top of the Sharpness ability boost, on top of Stab, and then you get that higher chance of landing critical hit. Aqua Cutter's where it's at. They go in the Volcarona, and we should just do the same thing. Go Aqua Cutter there, and final Gambo across onto this thing. Honestly, you might have more HP. Oh, you Rage Pound. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. Final Gambo's just going to take him out now. And Aqua Cutter's going to slide over. You might... No, you don't outspeed my Samurai. I don't think you do, at least. I hope not. I hope we can get a crit, because this thing's Dragon Cheer boosted. It's always terrifying. We do outspeed. Are we missing? No, we're not. Can we get that crit? We don't get the crit, but still, nice damage. And you get a stamina boost. Ouch, 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 ouch. That hurts. So, Samurai, thanks for playing. Wiping out that Garchomp. This thing is critting with Draco Meteor. Okay, so we're down two Pokemon. They're down two Pokemon. We have to double down on this thing. We have to double down on this thing. He might protect this turn. Let's see who he goes into. They're going to Intimidate, which could be nice. Hopefully he goes to a physical attacker. Let's see what you got cooking here. Ninetales. I mean, Raging Bull could come out here. Could go for Low Kick. Still do have Terra, which I think has to go into my Dragonite slot. I'm going to go Raging Bull into this slot. I'm going to Thrash Slash you. And Arch Ludon's pretty heavy, so we're going to go for a Low Kick here. Nice little low kick. The heavier the Pokemon, the more damage it does, so. We're going for it. Nice little Terra pops out from us. I would think he wants to try to set up an Aurora Belt, which we'll probably get off, right? We need to get rid of this Arch Luna. That Rage Powder play was actually nice. Icy Wind comes out here, so we're slowing us down a tad bit. No new decent damage here. And I have Inner Focus, so. Actually, no. I thought Inner Focus would stop that. 
I do have clear ammo with the bull, so Raging Bull should be able to KO here, right? Ooh, leaving you on one. That's, no, that's not good at all. Draco Meteor gonna launch and you're gonna die out here. Only way you can win this match is if this low kick KOs. We need low kick to KO here. How much damage are you doing low kick? Oh, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Now this thing's just stamina boost it. Getting real ugly. Getting real ugly. Getting real ugly. Oh, I didn't want to run. Yeah, rough matches for us today, guys. Real rough matches. We didn't we didn't play like terrible. I'm gonna e speed here in KOU, but Archer Leon is just gonna get the best of us. Definitely just gonna get the best of us. Flash can gonna come through here. Can we actually soak this? Hold up, you gotta crit me, soak this. So instead of Draco Meteor, you did that. It's a problem, you outspeed me here. Hopefully you miss another Draco Meteor. What would do more damage? I think low kick would, right? Maybe we can get a crit with that, but no, he's landing his Rick meters, no problem. GG's to our opponent. We're going one and two for today's video. Rough set of matches. So guys, not the record that we wanted today. We went one and two, grabbed ourselves a losing record, and honestly didn't play all that well today. I mean, we got to use Samurai in the third and final match, but I feel like I definitely owe this Pokemon an apology, and I feel like I have to showcase it again in the future, because as you guys seen in match number three, he hit really hard. Aqua Cutter just taking out Garchomp in one shot. They were just able to set up Dragon Cheer with Arch Ludon, pick up a KO, and uh, win the match. Or not pick up a KO, just start Draco meeting around with critical hits left and right and win the match that way. But we could have won the second match easily. Blunder play on my end. We probably should have went 2 and 1 for today's video. But all around, I didn't think we played too bad. Just definitely could have played better. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Just like you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.